Hi, I am Dr. Verma. People often ask me about dynamic spine surgery or motion preservation surgery. I must tell about dynamic spine surgery because inherently our spine itself is dynamic. It has been meant to provide stability as well as flexibility. So any implant which we are going to use in spine should be dynamic. There are three types of dynamic implants available. One is pedicle screw based implant. Another is interlaminar or interspinous implants. And third one and the final one is the disc replacement surgery. First, talking about the interspinous or interlaminar implants. Normally, spine moves a lot like this and it causes pain. Once we implant the interlaminar device or interspinous device, it gives sufficient mobility so that patient doesn't feel stiff, but at the same time it gives good stability also. It so it provides stability as well as mobility. So that's a great device, but it should be used in limited indications. Like indications are when patient is having leg pain along with back pain. If you have only leg pain, there's no need of to put any implant. We can do it by MIS technique, endoscopic techniques or simple discectomy. But whenever there is a lot of back pain along with leg pain, dynamic implants are a great choice. Also the disc height, the collapse of the disc should not be more than 50%. There should not be any great instability more than grade 1 or grade 2. There should not be any fracture, there should not be any deformity or scoliosis, there should not be any infection. Second type of implant used for dynamic spine surgeries are pedicle screw based or screw based implants. Unlike solid fixation where we use the titanium rods, these have got special silicon rods which when implanted inside the body in 37 degree temperature they become malleable and flexible and provides good mobility. Most of the patients, most of the good candidates for these spine surgeries are relatively younger age people. And final implant for providing mobility and movement is the disc replacement, whether it is cervical disc replacement or lumbar disc replacement. Cervical as well as lumbar disc replacements, if indicated, they provide all kinds of movement, as natural movement as possible, flexion, extension, rotations, all kinds of movement patient can have. Patient is allowed to do jumping, running, sports, any kind of activity can be done.